Hey Capricorn, welcome to your mid-June check-in. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I realized I didn't do a June reading this uh, month because I was just tired once we hit eclipse season, so I took a break for myself. Um, so what? Anyways, be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and midheaven if you'd like some more information. Um, otherwise, we're going to get into it. I am going to use some oracle cards, some tarot, kind of same as usual, just different decks each time, you know, because um, I like to keep it interesting. Plus, I like to collect decks, so yeah. Anyways, so let us dive in. So the three cards that I pulled out, three oracle cards, we have shackles, we have time, and we have love. Okay, so Capricorn. You are known like as the provider, right? And I feel like you've felt over quite some time that it's been a, for some of you, like a struggle or a challenge in order you for you to feel recognized for what you do provide, whatever that is, whether it's attention, money, resources, inspiration, what have you. And, um, but really, what are you offering or providing for yourself? It's less about the external world and what are you, what do you feel like you're missing out on from others that you're also depriving yourself of at this time? And I feel like you're starting to get the signs and signals of it and actually giving yourself the opportunity to receive to receive from yourself that that which you think is missing or unfulfilled and then the universe is going to step in and follow um follow your lead so to speak so let me just sit with these cards for a second i feel like some of you may be tuning in a little bit more into your third eye space, really kind of taking it all in, allowing yourself to relax a little bit more and not be so chained into identifying yourself through your work, um, but letting you be identified through, not identifying yourself by your work, but letting your work tell people how you identify yourself. Does that make sense? Um, so getting the recognition that you deserve by allowing yourself to um, kind of work from the inside out and not the outside in, I think is a better way of saying it. And you're going to notice a lot of synchronicities. I feel like they're going to be a lot of like central themes that have been or currently or are about to start, start cropping up in your life. So be willing to connect the dots. Um, take time to observe and to process more of what's going on around you and how it connects and relates and provide solutions for whatever questions you might be asking at this time. As we talk about time, I pulled out the time card. So... Um, it's almost like timeout is what I thought when I lifted this card up, like taking a timeout. I remember talking about, you know, allowing things to rest, being easy, allowing things to take less effort. Um, cause sometimes when we're just constantly and perpetually in a mode of providing, of teaching, of offering that we block everything else out because there's just this outward push, Right. And so we end up pushing things away from us, creates a ripple effect. Things end up feeling farther than they are because we're not taking that time to rest and become part of that, um, that field of flow, field of fluidity. Um, so it's time to switch up the flow a little bit. And that could be vice versa. If you've been resting, maybe it's time to get into work, to get into gear. Um, so I can really go either way. I'm also getting for some of you, like, careful, like, some of you might be watching, like, I'm, I'm getting, like, an old television for some reason. Like, the ones that are, like, interlaced, like, the old-fashioned ones. Um, it can be, like, how do I put this? Kind of, like, um... I'm kind of like leapfrog, like things like the picture's not totally put together because there's some stuff that still has to catch up with where you're going or the universe still has to catch up with you, maybe because you've been go, go, going. Something like that. It's very interesting. I'm going to see what's going on here. Okay. And uh, I also feel like some of you need some time to separate yourself from other energies um, maybe getting into hermit mode or being a little bit more selective about who that you're relating to at this time. Um, because I feel like there are some people around you that are a little bit more resonant with your path ahead um, than others. So avoiding hanging out with people that you feel like uh, or notice that 
when you hang around them, it's almost like your life kind of backslides or you end up falling back into certain habits or feelings or things like that. And it's like, that's probably a good sign, especially if you're wanting to move forward, that it's time to create a little space there. Um, I'm not saying you have to cut out people um, totally, but sometimes we just need to be around the people that best represent the energy that we're trying to cultivate in our life, right? Um, and love, love is the last card here. And so I feel like this is almost like a changing of the guard. Um, either some of you have had people that have passed away and you're kind of taking up their life's work. You know, they really inspired you. And so it's inspiring the work that you're putting out there now or the, the hobbies that you're taking on upon yourself now. Or it's you um, reaching another level because there's a certain space that needs to be filled and you're recognizing that you are highly qualified to fill that space. Whether it's an actual job or it's you really finding your purpose, by recognizing that there is a gap in some type of need. Maybe it's something that you need and deserve, but you're actually extremely qualified to fulfill that. That's kind of what I'm getting here. At the bottom of the deck, we have wisdom. So some of you um, are probably doing a lot of grounding work, maybe getting out more, exercising, tuning into your body, entering a more embodied state is what I'm getting here, and allowing yourself to... Um, recognize how everything has kind of led up to this this moment of like culmination i feel like for some of you like you're looking at the past few months years whatever and putting together those pieces in order for you to recognize that wisdom it is complete it is within you as long as you allow yourself to maybe step away and take care of yourself for a minute a little bit of self-care putting away your laundry playing some music dancing around you're going to be able to put it together as long as you're not focused so heavily on it because when we allow ourselves to get sucked in to a dense place, a heavy place, a place of, of that has a lot of gravity for us, we don't really have um, the awareness or the wherewithal to allow inspiration to come in and to flow through. And then on the other side of the deck, we have earth. So yeah, really needing to ground oneself. Perhaps there's a certain amount of coldness that you're being, um, that you need to be able to allow yourself to have. Um, do your best to not get too angry at this time. Um, really try to manage and control your anger if you can. I'm also feeling that, you know, it's also time to just be cool, calm, cool, and collected as best as you can. Um, don't allow your emotions to get too riled up right now or sweep you off of your own feet when you're trying to maintain stable grounding, stable footing, okay, Capricorn? Especially you're an earth sign, so that makes a lot of sense. All right, we have the eight of cups in the reverse, the four of wands, and the seven of swords. So eight of cups reverse, four of wands, seven of swords. Um, so I feel like you're you're gonna like come back to something and actually have like a process for it. And therefore, you're gonna feel like you're making steady progress in some way. It's like whatever aha moment, whatever you're putting together, you know, and it could just be like you kind of reworking your life, your lifestyle in some way that allows you the opportunity to not feel like you're just doing things all alone, doing things by yourself, that you're not being recognized for your ability to uh, make things happen, right? Um, it's like people are actually taking notice of it because because you're coming in with like a different energy. You're switching things up a little bit. You may be surprising people in some way and how you move through the world. Um, I'm getting like turtle energy too. It's I guess like tortoise and the hare, as well as turtles can represent different cycles, moving slowly. They're also very ancient creatures. Like, like they are like ancient. They, they live for like hundreds of years, you know, like they, they can be really, really old, which is wild. Um, and they're, you know, they're amphibious. And so I feel like for you, you're um, allowing yourself to tap into more of an emotional place that produces things that I feel like a lot of people um, either will think is unlike you or will be able to see you through it. And so they'll, therefore you'll be able to kind of sort out um, where and who to go to, who to work with, who to collaborate with, who... Um, you can naturally provide for as you provide for yourself, right? As you create things that you enjoy, um, you can figure out those people that they're made for, right? And then start being around those type of people to help kind of fill you up and motivate you um, and to 
find, find your own community, find your own space to build within, right? And which is so important for many of us to be able to find that. Here at the bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card. I feel like here, someone's recognizing that you're actually standing in your purpose, whether or not you are consciously aware of it yet. Um, it's kind of like X marks the spot. I feel like if someone is seeing you and thinking like, you know, this is the jackpot, not that they necessarily want to use you, but they recognize your talents and your gifts. And, um, but it's really necessary for you to recognize them as well, to not just rely on any type of flattery or someone telling you that you're great. You have to know that you're great Capricorn. Um, you have to know that you were made to do this because sometimes it can take a lot for us to be noticed in the right ways. And so, yes, we cherish that, but may, but don't try to seek um, that type of validation all of the time. You gotta be able to embody some of that for yourself and from yourself so you can continue um, to be excellent and to feel satisfied, to feel successful and to feel balanced, honestly, Capricorn. Um, on the other side of the deck, we have the chariot in reverse, which is saying, you know, do your best to not hold too tightly to the reins. Um, because anytime an obstacle may come up, it may throw you way off course. Uh, it may cause you to change direction. So please be mindful of how much control you try to exert over a situation. Do your best to flow with it, okay? Be adaptable, be prepared, continue to explore and to learn and to change and to shift based off of your experiences and honor your path, Capricorn, honor your path. Um, I feel like there's so much you could provide and that you could do and that you could challenge yourself to overcome. But I think that there are only a few things that are actually worth the effort for you at this time. And I think that's what you're beginning to figure out now, Capricorn. So that is what I have for you for um, the rest of June. And I guess I'll see you in uh, July. Sorry, I'm not sure what, you know, month it is. Anyways, um, <laughs> Please check the description box below, um, like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.